Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunshine in Dark Times Daily Devotional. This is Misty Caldwell. Happy Tuesday morning, guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful morning so far. Made it through your Monday. Um, on to tackle this Tuesday and have a wonderful day. Um, again, today is Tuesday, October the 27th, and our devotional today is called The Ark of Salvation. Our scripture is found in Hebrews eleven seven, which says, By faith Noah became an heir of the righteousness which comes by faith. God warned the people of Noah's day, My spirit shall not strive with man forever. Genesis 6, 3. They laughed at Noah, mocked his words, and went about their usual business and pleasures without ever dreaming he might be right. God was speaking, but they ignored him. Eventually, God's patience gave out, and by then it was too late. Outside the ark, men and women struggled for their lives, clutching at pieces of driftwood until the pitiless hand of death reached up and drew them down beneath those cruel waves. All were lost. Every soul outside the ark perished. They had their chance, but tossed it away. You cannot come to Christ unless the Spirit of God brings you. But what if you ignore his warnings? Then you are in the gravest danger, for someday God will no longer be calling to you. Then it will be too late. Come to Christ while there is still time. Christ, God's greater ark, stands ready to welcome you to safety today. Are you in the ark? Hope for today. Can you imagine anything more heartbreaking than a man who never quite decides it's time to hear from God? It will be a reality for too many people. Pray fervently for the lost to heed his call. Guys, this devotional is a very um, heavy and sombering one, but a very real, um, a very real fact that many, many people across this world are facing. Time is drawing nigh. God is coming back soon. And God is calling to the lost. Um, he wants to welcome you into the kingdom of heaven. He wants to love you. He wants to give you all of his abundant blessings and securities and promises that he speaks of over and over in the Bible. But guys, it's up to you to make the decision to give your heart and your life to Christ and live for him. Um, and if you don't, I mean, you are facing a very real, real reality of life on earth after the rapture and then potentially hell. Don't wait until the rapture happens to try to find Christ then because, guys, you've wasted so much time. Um, and if you are a Christian and you're listening to this devotional, I challenge you to um, be fervently praying for those who are lost, but to go a step further and do what God has called you to do to reach the lost. Um, I challenge you today and this week to witness to somebody. Maybe it's somebody you don't know um, that you see in a grocery store line, or maybe it's a family member that you need to get the guts and tell them, but guys, do it now because it's going to be too late for us to witness and do what God has called us to do. Um, so one way that I challenge you, share this devotional, share it on your Facebook page, send it to one of your lost loved ones, and let that be step number one of doing something different and reaching outside of your box to reach the lost. Um, and guys, if you're lost today, if you don't know Christ, guys, it is the most wonderful um, and lifelong best decision you can ever make. Um, just ask God to come into your heart. Ask for forgiveness for all of your sins and repent. Turn away from him and truly mean it. Reach out to any of us at Rio East if you need help finding God today. Um, there are so many people that would love to lead you to Christ. And if you are saved, guys, again, I challenge you to do something today that you have not normally done to reach the lost and pray fervently. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope this devotional challenges you. And I hope that if you find your place that you don't know Christ, that you come to him today before it's too late. Thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.